Well, I, I think it's kicking off everywhere in Europe. Uh, what we have seen is that at the beginning, uh, when the financial crisis 2007-2008 broke out, um, we could have seen movements, progressive movements, mainly at the periphery of the European Union, where I come from, for instance. Uh, we in Croatia, we had a huge student mobilization in 2009, which was much before Occupy Wall Street, uh, where we occupied more than 20 faculties in order to uh, stop the privatization of higher education. Uh, we had protests in Bosnia, plenums, general assemblies, and of course, the most famous movements in Syntagma and Puerta, Puerta del Sol. Uh, so at the beginning, it was the periphery. But what you can see today is that uh, the very measures which were being experimented at the periphery, for instance, in Greece, uh, where you have a la labor reform, austerity measures, privatizations, now, as if it was a kind of boomerang, it's coming back to the center of Europe. So Nuit Debout, one of the newest movements in France, is a reaction to Hollande's labor reform, which was, being, which was experimented in Greece. And you can see, you could have seen a big movement against the TTIP, uh, the secret trade agreement in Germany, where thousands, hundreds of thousands of Germans protested in Berlin. Uh, so what you can see today is that we have, we still have, uh, horizontal movements all around Europe. Uh, I mean, momentum in Britain is also an attempt to create a horizontal movement inside of a vertical uh, structure, which is the Labour Party. And not only that, uh, but you have political parties uh, like Razem in Poland, for instance. Uh, of course, we have Podemos. We have to see what will happen out of the Spanish crisis. Uh, and then you have international movements such as Democracy in Europe movement, DiEM, uh, we, whose attempt is precisely to connect all these movements. And not to forget, it's very important to mention also the local municipal level. For instance, the city of Barcelona is doing great stuff uh, with uh, housing, with stopping evictions, uh, with uh, supporting cooperatives. For instance, in Spain, in Catalonia, you have the CIC, uh, which is the Catalan Integrative Cooperatives, which is a network of hundreds of cooperatives which similar to the potato movement and to the solidarity network in Greece, not only with food, but uh, social clinics, social kitchens, is trying to create an alternative economy inside of this system where islands don't exist. So if islands don't exist, if there is no outside of capitalism, unfortunately, what we have to do, I think, is to create a space of autonomy inside of this system with the hope that we might overcome and get out of this system.